Hello. This video is going to be about um, the oldest books I've read or want to read. Let's get into it. Um, so the oldest book that I've read is, surprise surprise, Shakespeare. <laughs> that would be A Midsummer Night's Dream. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hard thing to say. Like, people want to say Midsummers instead of just Midsummer. By William Shakespeare, which is from 1595. Um, I think this is definitely one of my favorites. I haven't read that many, but I just love the whole fairy thing and the whole magic thing and the whole whimsical thing and oh, the comedy thing. It's funny, obviously. She gets married to a donkey. Um, and the next one after that, from the same year, 1595, would be Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. This would be my other favorite that I've read. I mean, I've only read four of them um, because of school. And I don't really um, have an interest in continuing his plays, I guess. Um, but Romeo and Juliet, of course, it's a classic, you know, love story. <laughs> love story. Um, and the next one after that would be Macbeth by Sha William Shakespeare from 1606. This one here, I didn't really find that much interesting, or that much interesting, that interesting. Because I think it, like, involves, like, um, I was gonna say war. Is it that war in it? I don't know. I've only read these, like, once, so. <laughs> um, involves, like, royalty and stuff, which I don't know, I'm not really into, but. And then same with the next one, which is King Lear by William Shakespeare from the same year, 1606. I also thought this one wasn't as, um, interesting, I guess. Those were the four plays I read by William Shakespeare, but I would also like to read um, his sonnets, his sonnet collection. I don't know if it has a real name, but um, which is from 1609. So that is on my um, TBR, read his sonnets. <laughs> I'm not sure how many there are, but I think there's quite a bit. And after that, um, from 1789, so we're skipping quite ahead. I read Songs of Innocence and Songs of Experience by William Blake. Um, this is poetry which I'm not really into, even though I want to read sonnets, I don't know. But uh, I wasn't really that into it, but I decided to try it since I've like, never really read anything like that before. And then the next one is from 1798. And it's The Rhyme of the Ancient Manor by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Um, I read this in school. Also poetry. Um, the only thing I really remember from this is the part about the the bird. What's the bird called? Albatross? Albatross? And then also the part about the water, water everywhere. <laughs> Nothing to drink. Um, and the next thing I've read is from 1811. And it's Sentence Sensibility by Jane Austen. And I liked it a lot. Like, I've, all the Jane Austen I've read so far, I've liked. So, this one. This one, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen from 1813. And then the next one from 1814 is Mansfield Park by Jane Austen, which I've yet to read. Maybe I'll read it in May or June. But I would like to get through all of her books. I think six. <laughs> I don't know. And there's North Hanger Abbey, which I liked as well by Jane Austen. This is from 1817. And then there's Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, which is from 1818, which I also liked a lot. On my TBR, I have The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, which is from 1831. Um, I've seen this movie, I don't really know much about it. I know it's just about this guy who, hunchback, hunchback guy, who lives in the bell tower and rings the bell and he saves this girl from something or other, but I'm gonna read this at some point. Um, and then there's The Little Mermaid and the Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen, which is from 1835. And I have this beautiful copy here by the decorations, or illustrated by Nina Lina. It's so gorgeous. And I like fairy tales, so I like this. Most of the ones that are written here I had never read before, so I'm glad I got a chance to do that. And there are lots of other fairy tales that I'd like to read too, like the ones by Grimm, I like to read those ones as well. 
And of course, there's more by um, Hans Christian Andersen, which I haven't read yet. Um, and then next on my TBR is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Um, this is from 1843. Um, I don't really know much about this. I know it has like the ghost of Christmas uh, present, past, and future. That's basically all I know about it. I know he's and it's trying to make this mean guy not so mean. <laughs> I've never actually seen a movie of this. I don't think I know that it's very popular though. I like to try and read it around Christmas, obviously, which is what I tried to do last year, but like I it was like not available at the time. And I have another poetry collection on here that I would like to read, even though I'm not into poetry. And that's The Raven and Other Poems by um, Edgar Allan Poe, which is from 1845. Um, it's a classic, so I like to read it, you know. I've only heard like a little bit of The Raven, like Nevermore and all that. And then also my TBR, I have Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray, which is from 1847. And again, I talked about this before, I'm not sure what this is exactly about, but it's a classic, so it's also a long one. <laughs> um, and then on my TBR, I have Withering Heights by Emily Bronte, which is from 1847. Um, I've tried reading this one before, but I had to put it down because it was just so like dense, but I will get through it eventually. I have Jane Eyre on here um, by Charlotte Bronte. This is also from 1847. Um, I just actually finished reading this, um, in April, I guess. Um, it was a reread I read before in school. Um, but I liked it just as much. And now I like to go watch the movie, um, which I've seen before, or, well, quite a few of them really. But I like to rewatch it now since I've, like, read it again, like, so it's fresh. And the last one on my list, um, I just chose, like, 20 at random, really. Um, it's a Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. It's from 1850. Um, the only thing I know about this is that there's like this girl and she like cheats and she gets an A put on her to show that she's an adulterer. That's basically basically all I know about this. So, but it's a classic, so why not? So those were the 20 um, oldest books that I would either like to read or have already read. Let me know which ones you would like to read or what's your oldest book that you've read. Okay, I'll see you next time.